This is the latest that I got from the Raleigh flea market. It's a transistor radio tester. And of course, it has the description of the various controls and also a little bit about how to use this tester. And I thought I'd take it apart and see what it looks like on the inside. Okay, I've got the screws out. Yeah, let's pull this up. Ah, looks like a modification. This runs on four and a half volts, so that's the right voltage. So I think I'll make the same mod, put some fresh batteries in it. I'm sure that these are fairly old, but it looks pretty good on the inside. There's a crack right there, but I don't think that'll hurt anything. Let me get some batteries. Okay, I'll replace these batteries. These are D-cells I decided to put in C cells. Now it'll definitely last long enough. I went ahead and replaced a couple of electrolytic capacitors that were right here and here. This unit uh, appears to be working and we'll turn it on here. One of the advantages of living close to a radio station. What I didn't expect out of the oscillator was it's an interesting way they have this set up. Here's the scope and I'm changing the attenuation right now. I'll leave it right there. And you can see how it oscillates. It's sort of like they give it a, a ping and then it oscillates back and forth and then drops off to nothing. But there are several of these. So that's going to be interesting to use. So that was quite a surprise. So we'll definitely do a video on that when it's uh, in operation with a transistor radio and we'll just see what that does. Thanks for watching.